Hey guys, in this video I'm going to compose a song based on some visual art. So this is a new series I want to start called Art to Music. And this is going to be kind of the pilot episode. So let me know in the comments whether you like this kind of stuff or not. I went through Instagram and I browsed a bunch of fantasy art and concept art. And I found this artist called Emily. And I asked her if I can use one of her pieces and thankfully she said yes. So thank you so much. I'll leave all her links in the description for her Instagram, her webpage. She makes these beautiful kind of almost looks like you're in a video game or a fairy tale or kind of a dark children's novel. Really inspiring stuff. As you'll see, I'll post the image. So I'm going to pick one of her pieces, uh, which is a treehouse and I'm going to write some music around that. So just looking at the image right here, we can see that it's very it's like a combination of light and dark, both visually and in terms of mood, or at least that's how I perceive it. There's this kind of mystery and eeriness to it, but also there's kind of happy hope and coziness involved. It's, there's a lot of contrast, which I like. So I'm just going to start off by laying down a basic pattern and then we're going to kind of layer things as we go. To avoid repetition of this piano part, I'm going to record another section that changes chords slightly uh, because I had a melody in mind that doesn't fit if we just keep droning the same stuff. Well, I found this concert flute patch that comes with the orchestral woodwinds pack from Ableton Live. So I'm just going to record a little melody over this piano thing. Right, I found this double bass patch in the uh, orchestral strings pack that comes with Ableton Live and that sounds like this. So I'm just going to record that kind of very sparsely, but more in the bassy end, because so far all our sounds have been in the upper range. All right, so I found a glockenspiel in the orchestral mallets sound pack that comes with Ableton Suite. So I'm just going to play a kind of a creepy glockenspiel um, melody at the end when the clarinet fades out and we just have piano again. I found a tuba patch. So I'm just going to lay some soft brass uh, with that glockenspiel. Alright, I've loaded up an instance of Yuhi's uh, Repro 1 plugin, which is the emulation of the Sequential Pro 1, and I found this cool little eerie lead patch. So I'm just going to lay kind of a spooky bed to that glockenspiel part. Alright, I've loaded up an instance of Madrona Labs Alto, which is kind of a West Coast synthesis synth, and I found this patch called Harmonic Wind in the effects section, which sounds kind of creepy and eerie. So I'm just going to put a subtle bit of that in the intro here. Alright, let me add another layer of that uh, Repro 1 patch I had before.
Right, I've loaded up an instance of Mtron Pro, which is a Mellotron plugin, and I've loaded up a boys choir here. And I've just reduced the filter a little bit, increased the attack and the release. So it's a little more smooth. So I'm gonna lay this in the background here. I'm gonna end it there. I'm just gonna go and mix and EQ some stuff and maybe add a couple of tweaks here and there. And then I'm gonna put the whole song at the end of the video. I'll put it up on Spotify, iTunes, and all that good stuff. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Thanks, Emily, for letting me use this art as inspiration. And again, if any other visual artists out there want to collaborate, definitely hit me up. Thanks for watching. Listen to the song right now, and I'll see you guys in the next.